Hey everybody, Tristan from Exit Editorial here. I wanted to show you guys how the Chroma Dark preset can be used practically in a session. The example I'm choosing is a music video I cut and colored a while back for Grammatic's song Solidified. It's a pretty funky video with a lot of cool in-camera technique. First I'll full screen the shot so you can see what we're dealing with. There's a lot of pretty nasty blue noise going on in the guy's jacket as well as in the wall on the right. We're going to try to minimize that. The top is chopped off here but I'm going into my color menu to select Chroma Dark under Presets. Okay, I've selected it, but the image doesn't look too good. Let's check out what's actually happening here. First thing I'm noticing is that my saturation's been turned all the way down to zero, and there's a luminance key pulled to just get the bottom half of the image. I could adjust this key, but let's just keep it here for now. I find that bringing up the saturation to around 20 or 25 usually will ease the noise in the blacks, especially the blues, to a point of acceptability. Let's take another look in the bigger viewer. and I'll just toggle the correction on and off a few times so you can see how dramatically we've changed it. I use this all the time before the noise reduction in Resolve got really good, but with a combination of both, you can really clean up scenarios like this one where there's just not enough light hitting the sensor. And of course from here I can continue grading. Chroma Dark is a pretty quick little tool that'll help you clean up that dark footage really easily. Talk to you soon guys.